Hi everyone, today is Tuesday, June 14th, 2016, and we're still going into the evidence of the terrible attacks that happened in Orlando, both the attack against the singer and the attack at the Pulse nightclub. We already showed that the Pulse nightclub even represents a movie called Pulse with the Revelation 911 smoke beast coming on the world. And now today, Obama, we are documenting again, two days in a row where after the attack, where Obama has defended Islam and actually called the USA shameful. There is a lot of bitterness, obviously, still with Obama all the way back to the slavery days. He makes a small mention in, into it in here about, about that we have done shameful things in our country. And he basically calls the USA shameful through there and he defends Islam all through here and attacks Donald Trump in every way. The same way that we have seen the FBI covering up that they were watching this man, that the man that did the shootings in the Pulse nightclub was actually on a watch list by the FBI, but now they're saying they should take the gun rights away. He was on a watch list. He went and bought a gun, but they were supposedly watching him. How did he buy the gun if they're watching him? Even if he could legally buy it, they were supposed to be watching him. So again, the FBI is covering up for all of their mistakes and blaming others and trying to take the guns away. And now we have Obama defending Islam and calling the USA shameful. They are working towards their new world order. They want these terrorist events to happen so that they can bring everybody together with a new world order. They're waiting on a giant terrorist attack, something that like they can blame against North Korea and such, so they can come together with their new world order. Well, I will leave us with this here, and you will see him in here. He calls the USA shameful, and he defends Islam all through here. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Obama <laughs> is the liar in office preparing to destroy the USA. God have mercy on us all. He hates us. He literally hates us. For all U.S. citizens, are we going to start treating all Muslim Americans differently? Are we going to start subjecting them to special surveillance? Are we going to start discriminating against them because of their faith? We've heard these suggestions during the course of this campaign. Do Republican officials actually agree with this? Because that's not the America we want. It doesn't reflect our democratic ideals. It won't make us more safe, it will make us less safe. Fueling ISIL's notion that the West hates Muslims. Making young Muslims in this country and around the world feel like no matter what they do, they're going to be under suspicion and under attack. It makes Muslim Americans feel like their government is betraying them. It betrays the very values America stands for. Well, you can see all of that there. In every way, he defended Islam and blamed the USA. The same way the FBI, who had the man on a watch list and yet didn't see him buy a gun. That should have been very easy. Both of them are blaming the citizens and wanting to bring more of a police state. Now we're going to show here a little thing of where Obama makes a comment about being shamed here in the USA. And it goes all the way back to the slavery. As we've shown, there's a lot of bitterness in here. To all of my black friends and, and everybody of every different race, please know this. It was a white man, Abraham Lincoln, in blue, that set the slaves free. The gray coats, the South, was being controlled by things overseas. The gray coats were being controlled by Britain and the red coats to bring all of that going on and they were being funded to start the Civil War to break our country. 
it was a white man in blue that set the slaves free and he died for it you cannot blame the white race if you want to be bitter about your slavery go all the way back and blame England and such for it because they were funding the South they wanted to break the USA they still want to break the USA may God have mercy on us all but just know that it was a white man in blue that set the slaves free to keep our country together we are a country of freedom so don't have bitterness just towards our country our country is the one that set everybody free the South was wanting to break free they didn't want to be part of the USA and I'm from the South I'm from Florida but I also know that if this is my country it's not about a South and a North it's about freedom so this bitterness is there and Obama has this in him and he wants to break our country and punish everybody for these things let's show this in here and he'll talk about the shame may God have mercy on us all I'll see you all at the wedding feast of the Lamb Hallelujah. It betrays the very values America stands for. We've gone through moments in our history before when we acted out of fear, and we came to regret it. We've seen our government mistreat our fellow citizens. And it has been a shameful part of our history.